this is our flour tortilla video. Something we've been working on for a little bit and it is still not exactly 100% there. And we're working on it for the brick and mortar. First thing we're doing is heating up some fat. This is tallow and lard. Into the bowl of a mixer, bread flour, AP flour, salt, baking powder. Mix that up a little bit. So recipes we looked at, some had all AP, some had all bread flour, some had beef fat, some had pork fat. Wanted to do a little bit of both. This is our combined fats. Since we use so much beef fat, since we use so we have so much beef fat and pork fat. Want to do something to get rid of it. Just kind of getting in there, cleaning up the sides making sure everything is getting incorporated the idea here is to have no like dry flour have every piece of flour every granule of flour have interacted or be coated in some fat because if it's not all coated in fat if it's not evenly distributed with the fat and the flour then you will have clumps and it'll be harder to get everything together. Added some water, warm water. Since we're working with warm fat, we need some warm water. And really beating it up, developing some gluten. Really going on high. Adding a little bit of flour just to notice. I'm noticing that the dough is not coming up off of the bottom or off of the side exactly like I want therefore it looks a little sticky to me so I added just a little bit of extra flour and I think I might add a little bit more right here too and then just kind of knead it in the bowl and develop a little bowl and then in a second we're gonna start portioning these out We've got Daniel from Brazil portioning out some of these little bulls. He came to us from uh, Sophie's Barbecue. Did a little trail with us. Also, we've got Chris Dowling from the UK. Balling up some little bulls. We're doing 50 gram balls. So we let the dough rest for just a few minutes while we cleaned everything up most important rest is going to be after they are formed into balls so we're doing just a bunch of 50 gram balls here lining them up i have sprayed the hotel pan with some pam or just like spray oil make sure they don't stick i don't want to add more flour to make them drier just want to make them not stick all right we're on the chud press Listen for the taco squeal. Unedited. Unedited. So we're going 10 seconds press, then flip 10 seconds on that side. Then flip 10 more, and then flip it one more time, and then 10 more seconds. So. Each tortilla should take about 40-ish seconds, so, so this kind of took a while to press out every single tortilla. But, they were all really good. After we are all pressed out, we let them cool for a little bit, stack them up between some parchment paper sheets, and then into a bag they go. And then those bags go into a warmer on the food truck. And we throw one on the little griddle here where we toast our buns, a couple seconds on each side. Doesn't really need to go like full, full puff again, but if you get just a little bit of raised texture in there that's pretty good beans down making the vato supremo taco 
barbacoa, a couple slices of avocado. Fritos, official Fritos, always. And some green salsa. Queso fresco.